Hello, DTRS, you watch an economic calendar presented to you by InstaForex News Team at Mikate Nidachina. In the later half of the week, markets will watch closely the following macroeconomic reports. To start with, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand will announce its July interest rate decision on Thursday. Most analysts anticipate the regulator would further raise its refinancing rate up to 3.5%. At its previous meeting, the central bank lifted its benchmark interest rate by 0.25% to 3.25 percent. This was the third consecutive raise of the interest rates by the regulator amid improving economic conditions, particularly thanks to growing immigration. Graham Wheeler, speaking after a meeting in Wellington, said that inflation forecasts remain restrained, while the rate of the national currency has not been corrected to the prices of raw materials. Nevertheless, it's expected that this will happen in the near future. Future. Moreover, the Japanese government will unveil its National Consumer Price Index for June. The indicator is seen to have been up 3.5 percent on year. In May, Japan's consumer prices grew at the fastest pace since 1982. Overall inflation rose to 3.7 percent, while in April it came in at 3.4 percent. May reading March to analyst forecasts. In the meantime, consumer prices, excluding fresh food prices, the indicator for which the Japanese central bank adopted a 2% target, climbed 3.4% last month. Most analysts predicted that consumer price growth would slow down and the Bank of Japan would boost the stimulus program. Currently, the Bank of Japan outlook suggests a 1.3% rise in consumer prices, excluding fresh food prices, this fiscal year and a 1.9% increase next year. Moreover, Germany's Eiffel Institute for Economic Research will release its business climate reading for July. The index is seen at 109.6. Thus, according to the forecast, the reading is expected to be almost unchanged from the previous months when the indicator posted 109.7. Meanwhile, that was a considerable decline in business confidence compared with May and experts' anticipations. In June, the indicator fell from the level of 110.4 registered in May. Economists had uh, expected the reading of 110.3. Also, the following macroeconomic data will be out these days. Thus, on Thursday, New Zealand and Japan will report on the trade balance. Meanwhile, HSBC will provide its flash manufacturing and services PMI data for China, France, Germany and the entire euro area. In addition, the United Kingdom Office for National Statistics is to publish its data on the volume of retail sales. The US will release its unemployment claims and a new home sales report. On Friday, Great Britain will publish its preliminary GDP figures and the US will unveil its uh, durable goods orders data. It was economic calendar on InstaForex TV channel. Have a nice training. <music>